Hello students and welcome again. My name is Mr. Ngige. Welcome to my channel, Imatsu Ngige. And today we are going to be checking numerical analysis that is newton Grigori interpolation uh, formula. So we are going to be checking past papers that is uh, from NEC. Uh, we shall check uh, March 2023 and we shall check uh, November 2022 and also July uh, 2022. So kindly remember to subscribe, share and also comment how these lessons are being helpful to you. So we jump right in to our first question that is uh, from our numerical methods or our numerical analysis that is uh, March 2023. So we have our question here, the data in table 1 shows the value obtained uh, from polynomial. So we have our table here and that is given by that. Let me just complete this table here. So you have that table and you are told now use Gregory Newton uh, uh, interpolation formula to determine the value of f when uh, the value of the function when x is 1.2 and the value of the function when uh, x is 4.8. So remember, uh, the Newton <coughs> Gregory interpolation formulas are just used to determine the values uh, that are not given in the table. So for example, we have our values of x from 1 up to what? Up to 5. So we are finding 1.2. So we are finding a value that lies between 1 and 1 and 2. For our case here, we are finding the value 4.8, which is a value that lies between 4 and 4 and 5. So how do we start solving this? So we make a table that is vertical, having uh, the x and the fx. So we have that. We have our, our x and we have our fx. Then we shall, we shall check the differences. We shall be finding our differences here. So our first difference. Our second difference, our third difference. Now something to note, so this one is our second, this one is the third. Now depending on the number of terms that you've been given in your data, the number of differences you're supposed to get is supposed to be n minus 1. So in our case here we've been given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 data, uh, we have 5 sets of data. So our values of the differences are supposed to be n minus 1. So we are going to go up to the fourth difference. So that is one thing you should know up to the fourth difference. So, uh, so we have that up to uh, the fourth difference. Alright, then we have the values of x. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 and what? 4 and 5. So when uh, x is 1, the value will be 10. This one will be 27. This one will be 68. This will be 140. Five, and last we will have 200 and 270. Now we can start checking the differences. So 27, 27 minus uh, 10 gives you, uh, gives you 17. 68 uh, minus 27, uh, that it gives you 40, 41. Then you have 145, then you subtract 68, you get 77, right? Then you have uh, 270, then subtract uh, 140, 145. We get our value as 125. So that is the first difference. Now we get our second difference. Now we get our second difference. That is 41 minus, uh, minus 17, which gives us 20, 24. Then 77 minus, uh, minus 41, that gives you 30, 36. Then you have 125, you subtract 77 gives you 48. Then subtracting 36 minus 24, that gives you 12. Then this one also will give you 12. Then this minus that will give you 0. Now these are very good set of data. So when you have a value of having a value here being 0, then uh, you have a very good set of data. Now, <coughs> so now we're going to use two different methods to obtain these two values. So when you are having a uh, when you are having a value that is near the beginning, you use the forward difference. When you have a value that is uh, near the end, you use the back difference. So we start with f1, uh, f, uh, 1.2. So when your value of x is 1.2. So generally, first of all, we can write the general uh, forward difference formula. <coughs> so this one shall be given by, so we have our fx here, right? Then plus p, uh, then our first difference. Right, then plus p, then p minus 1, then our second difference of what? Over 2 factorial, then plus, uh, this one continues. So we have our value plus 
P, then we have P minus 1, then P minus 2, then we have uh, F, then we have 3 factorial, and this continues, right? That value goes on and on. Now, so we need to find the values here. So we're now finding for F uh, 1.2. So, first of all, we determine the class or the set of data which you're going to be using. So 1.2 lies between 1 and 1 and 2. So it will lie between there. So our different the differences that we're going to be using are these differences here. Alright? And you can see by the end of the day we shall have up to the third difference because the fourth difference is what? The fourth difference is uh, zero. So basically our data will reach there. So, <coughs> so we have that. Now so we determine all the values that we need there. So we get our fx. Get our fx. So what is our value for fx? So it will be, it will be 10. Right? Then we get our first, second and third difference. So our first difference will be given by, it will be 17. Our second difference, which will be given by 24. Our third difference will be given by 12. So our third difference will be given by, be given by 12. Now we get our values of P. So how do you get P? You get P by XP minus X0 over H. So XP is the value that you need to find. Then X0 is the value preceding the value that you need. Then H is the difference of the interval of interval of X. So our XP in this case, we are finding what? 1.1.2. 1 our X0 is the value above. So the value above here, so what is the value above? Uh, the value above of x above uh, 1 or 2 is 1. Then our h is just the difference of any of these uh, variables here. So 2 minus 1 which gives you 1. So therefore, your p will be given by uh, 1.2 minus 1 over 1, which will give you 0 0.2. So you have your value as 0, uh, 0 0.2, that is your p. So therefore, we can get p minus 1. We can get p minus 1 is uh, 0 0.2 minus 1 is negative 0 point, negative 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Uh, p minus 2, so you can uh, bracket that, will be negative 1 point 8. Yeah, so the same, our value will reach up to the third difference because the fourth difference is what? Zero. So we need only, we need, we need our p, we need our p minus 1 and we need p minus minus 2. So therefore we can now replace all the values that we have there in this uh, equation. So now we are finding x, what is our x p? 1 point. So you are finding the function, your value of x is 1.2. <coughs> so your fx is what? It's 10. Then plus, what is your p? 0 0.2. What is your first difference? 17. Then plus, uh, again your value of p is 0, point, 0 point 0.2. Your value of p minus 1, negative 0 point, negative 0 0.8. Then your second difference is given by what? 20, 24. Now this one you divide by what? 2 factorial is the same as 2 times, 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is what? It's 2. And this can simplify. You can cancel the 2 and this, but you can uh, first of all expand. Then we shall uh, simplify. Then we have again 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Then negative 0 0.8. Then uh, the, sec the third difference is given by what? 12. So we have 12. Alright. Then we have, uh, so we have our P. Uh, sorry, we are getting the forgotten value here. <coughs> so we have P. P minus 1 is that. P minus 2 is this value here. So negative 1.8. Then we now get our third difference, which is 12. Then over 3 factorial. 3 factorial is the same as 3 times 3 times 2. And what is 3 times 2? It's just, it's just 6. So now, evaluating the values, therefore, we have, so here we shall have uh, 10. Then we have 0 0.2 times 17, that is uh, 3 point, 3 point, uh, 3 point 4. Now we can simplify this one further by 2, 1 by 2, or 2, by 2, 12. Then by 6, 1 by 6. Uh, by 6, 2. So therefore, we get a 0 0.2 times the negative of 0 0.8, then multiply by, multiply by 12, that gives you, uh, now remember, it's a negative, so it will be negative 1.992. Uh, 
And that's why that you have an energy and a negative here, the value there will uh, just be positive, but just multiply them, then 0 point, negative of 0 0.8 times negative of 1 point, 1.8, then multiplied by 2. So we get our value as positive 0 0.5756. Now adding all this, then this will give you 13.4. So 13.4 you add 0 0.57576, uh, then you subtract 1.92. Uh, and you get your value as 12.056. So that is your value of the function when your x value will be 1 point what? 1 point 2. So now we check our value when now we have 4.8. Now 4.8 now lies between 4 and 4 and 5. So it will lie between here. Now we will not draw our line uh, between here but we will we'll use the data that follows 4.8. Alright, we shall use the data of the value that follows 4.8. So we shall take this set of data here. Alright, then that. So we shall use these uh, values here and, the, and these differences here. But remember now, here we are going to be using the back difference, the backward difference formula to, to evaluate this. So now, so for our value, so here we always say we use x0. Uh, that is the value that you are finding, okay? Now the formula is just given by the value of x, the value of fx, then plus p, then your first uh, back difference, then plus p. Now here it changes to be p plus, p plus 1, then the second difference, then over what? Over 2 factorial, then plus p, p plus 1, then p plus 2, right? Then our third difference. So again we say, our differences here will go up to the up to the third difference, right? Now, so we need to get again our values. So we need to find our fx. Our fx in this case is just this value, 200 and what? 270. So that is 270. Then your first backward difference of the first difference, you can just say our f is just the first difference is 120, 125. Uh, 125, then our second difference will be given by what? 40, 48, then our third difference will be given by 12. So our third difference will be given, will be given by 12. Then we find our value for P. So now in our case here, P is just found by X0 minus XP, then over H. So you can uh, check. You can see the difference in the formula. We are just interchange your xp and your x0 because in this case we are finding our x0 but it now is in the backward formula, right? Now your x0 is the value that you are finding. So the value that you are finding x0 is 4.8, right? So we have 4.8. Then the value xp is the value that follows your needed value. Is the value that follows uh, the needed value. So if our value is 4.8, the nearest value that follows in the given set of data that follows uh, our value x that is needed is just what? Just uh, is given by 5. So our x p is 5. Then our age is still 1. So our p in this case just be given by uh, 4.8 minus 5 over 1. And this p now will be negative of 0. Point, be negative of 0. 0.2. Now we can get p plus 1 and p plus 2. So we have p, then we have p plus, p plus 1. So what is, one, uh, what is a zero, negative 0 0.2 plus 1? That gives you 0 point, 0 0.8. Then we have p plus 2, which will be given by, so it is negative 0 0.2 plus 2, that gives you 1 point, 1 point 8. Then just replace your values again with the formula that you have been given there. So in our case here, it shall be five. So we are finding f four point, finding f four point eight. So f four point eight. So be given by so your value of f x is two hundred and two hundred and seventy. So two hundred and seventy, right? Then your p plus. P, your P is negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2, 
Then your first difference is 120, 125. Okay. Then remember this one is over 0 factorial over 1 factorial. And 0 factorial is 1. Uh, and 1 factorial is also, is also 1. Now we come to the next one. It is our P negative 0 0.2. Then P plus 1 is 0 0.8. 0 okay. Then we have our, um, <coughs> our second difference, which is given by 48. So 48. Then all over 2 factorial, which is just which is just 2, right? Then lastly, we have plus. Uh, the last one there, so it will be P, that is negative 0 0.2, then 0 0.8, then 1.8, then our third difference given by 12. Uh, so we have 12 over 3 factorial, and 3 factorial is what? 3 factorial is 6. So now evaluating this, so we shall have 270, then now this value here will be negative, then uh, 125 times 0 0.2, we get 20, 25, now this value here, so we can say by 2, 1, by 2, 24, so we have the negative of 0 0.2, then we multiply by 0 0.8, then we multiply by 24, and that gives you negative 3.8, then again, by, by 6, 1 by 6, uh, 2, so you have the negative of 0 0.2, then you multiply by 0 0.8, then multiply by 1.8, then multiply by 2, that gives you negative 0 0.576. Now, I've been in subtracting all that, so you have 270, then subtract 25, then subtract 3.84, then subtract 0 0.576 and you get your value as 240.584 that is with three decimal places. So basically you are saying this is your value when the value of x, the value of the function when x is 4.8 and that is how we do now uh, the forward and the backward interpolation uh, formula.